Ben, what do you make of that then? I mean, a breathless, enthralling, pulsating derby here and uh, you've ended up getting uh, getting the win. Uh, five wins on the bounce now, I think it is. Yeah, um, look, in all honesty, first half, we should have been out of sight, really. We were far superior. Um, I said to the players at half-time, you need to be ruthless when you, you're in, in the ascendancy. We should have been four, three to four goals to the good at half-time. We, we did, we, 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 it didn't happen for us. Um, I made them aware of the possibility that somebody needed to come out now and they would, they would need to show some fight to back to the game. They certainly did that to somebody. They did, they got back to the game. We found ourselves 3-2 behind. But um, I would always back my players, the courage they display and the bravery. We work on these things, scenarios in training, so we know how to adapt our formation. If it's five, ten minutes left and we're behind, push people a little bit further forward and adapt a little bit at the back to try and exploit teams. We did that. Uh, and and I, you know, I felt that we had it in us. Tired legs, same team has been playing for the last three or four games. You know, we had one day re- le- less rest in the opposition, so I felt we could be tiring at the final at the last ten minutes. But we were great. You know, of course, I'd love to win three or four nil comfortably, but derby games are never like that. And um, credit to the players, the players have earned that, and that's one for the fans that as well. It's uh, it's um, cemented our place in the top six. You know, in sixth place, and that's what we wanted to do today. So thoroughly proud of the boys today. I think that's secured it, hasn't it? With, uh, yeah, it with was, Felix Day losing to yeah, Milner. Yeah, there was a there was a possibility of a big swing in goal difference, but um, I want to make sure that we were the best of the rest. Important, the top five have got great resources in this league. It's important, Barry Town Football Club, make a statement that we want to be pushing there. We want to be into that top five, and we've progressed every year. And we've done that again this season. And it was great to see Jack Chambers. Sure, I think yeah. it was that got the winner yeah, in the yeah. end, and um, he ran that midfield today. Didn't yeah, he? he's infectious. Really, he's a he's a cracking lad. You know. Um, we had our ups and downs when we first joined, demanding a little bit more out of him in terms of hard work and discipline. He's reacted to that. I've told him that if you do this for me, I'll back you 100%. I have, and he's back to me. And I'm pleased with him because he's got great feet. He's, he's probes and he's, he's very good going forwards and he deserved his goal fully. So really proud of Jake, but I'm proud of them all. Yeah. yeah, and Ollie Hughes as well. He always gives everything for you up front, doesn't he? And he's, he's come up with some great goals as well. Yeah, he has. Well, you've got Ollie Hughes up front, you've got a chance. Not in terms of goals, is, is, is intensity, because it, it, people thrive off that. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a headache for defences. And, um, you know, I always say, get the ball in good areas and Ollie Hughes will have an opportunity. The save first half from the goalkeeper was an amazing save, how he's kept that out. But um, please for Ollie, because I think that puts him up to near 20 goals, I think. Mm. So um, they're proud of him. But like I said before, it was a whole team performance today.